Welcome to Trading Nation. I'm Brian Sullivan, and let's talk retail, which has suddenly become one of the hottest sectors out there. Gina Sanchez, Chantico Global, and Todd Gordon with TradingAnalysis.com are your Trading Nation team today. Gina, wow, when I look at these retailers, many of them up 10, 15, 20% in a month or two, are you a retail believer? I'm not quite a retail believer yet. If you look at the short term, yes, we actually just saw a tremendous Cyber Monday and great Black Friday numbers. And so that gives a lot of people reason for optimism. But here's a few things I think you have to put, to put this into context. First of all, um, while we have seen strong retail growth, that growth is probably above trend. Um, and it's been fueled by consumers dipping into their savings. We have seen uh, the savings rate dropping in order to fund continued spending, and that is always an unsustainable deal. Um, so we're not sure that this is going to last long. And if you consider how indebted the retail sector is, I do actually think there's a few reasons to be concerned. Yeah, dipping into your savings to spend is, is not necessarily a sustainable long-term strategy, but it's certainly been hot. Uh, Todd, let's go ahead and look at the charts here. I know a lot of retailers have had a good-looking chart, but why are you focused on raw stores, ROST? Yeah, you know, Ross looks tremendous here, and it's a, mem it's a member of the XRT is referring to. And to Gina's point, they, the chart is constructive. We've begun to form a base right around the $38 level in XRT. It's got to prove it to us through the 46. Ross is, I think, a top 10 holding, um, one of the strongest charts that we're seeing here. So definitely I like the breakout here. But in terms of value in the overall sector, this is more of a quiet way to play the retail recovery. It's got more brick and mortar like Urban, Express, L Brands. Taylor, Abercrombie and Fitch, American Eagle. So, so these are very oversold stocks that are starting to come back. So, if you were looking for a value play, I think XRT is the way to do it in sort of a non-volatile way. But again, it's got to prove it through the forty-six dollar level. Okay, we're watching forty-six on uh, our, on uh, the XRT. Uh, Gina Sanchez, Todd Gordon, our Trading Nation team today. Retail suddenly hot, folks. Thank you as always for watching. I'm Brian Sullivan. We'll see you next time. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.